Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. A magnitude 5.3 earthquake struck near the Channel Islands early Tuesday afternoon, jolting residents in the Los Angeles area and beyond as Southern California saw its largest quake in more than four years, and this is according to the USGS. Now the trembler hit beneath the Pacific Ocean about 12.29 p.m. at a depth of 10 miles beneath the surface, the USGS reported. It was centered around 41 miles southwest of Ventura and 85 miles west of Los Angeles. It was produced by offshore faults that are part of the system that moves Southern California around a bend of the San Andreas Fault, seismologist Lucy Jones tweeted. Now Jones, formerly of the USGS, described it as a moderate size earthquake. Now there were no immediate reports of injuries or damage, according to law enforcement and fire agencies across uh, Southern California. So there's no reports of injuries or damage, folks. It uh, again is the largest quake that's been seen in that area in a while. But uh, more importantly, I guess when you consider California, that's not a huge quake. But is it a foreshock or a precursor of the big one? That's what we always wonder. The big one that the uh, experts are expecting is going to strike this area sooner or later. Um, fortunately, as it appears right now, no injuries, no, uh, no damage. I'll leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And if you would be so kind, folks, please check out the links below this video uh, to my uh, fiction books available in Kindle and paperback on Amazon.com. If you're following world events, you would really like those, folks. There's a link to a free read of Chapter 1 of my upcoming fiction release, Fortress. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not. Fortress is my current life. The Wayfarer story is my upcoming uh, release. You can read chapter one for free. Uh, there's a link to uh, some music of mine and to a PayPal page if you want to buy me a cup of coffee. If you like the work that I do here, folks, most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.